why? Pattern paper, or what we sometimes call background paper, can add a lot to our handmade greeting cards. Sometimes it creates, depending on the patterns of course, a nice subtle background, and sometimes it'll take the center stage. And that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to let it be the focal point. I'm using the new Stampin' Up! Flight and Airy 12x12 designer series paper for my handmade card designs. You'll easily be able to use the handmade card idea I'm demonstrating for you today with other background or pattern papers too. I'm Shelley Godby, and for 22 years I've been teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles through my YouTube videos, my Stamping Smiles blog, and my mailing list. And so wait till you see the greeting I'm going to do. It's extra special for my handmade background paper card designs. Here's a closer view of the Flight and Airy 12 by 12 designer series paper, and it is gorgeous. So crazy about this paper, I decided I wanted to make it really the focal point of the card. It's not a shrinking flower at all. Look at these gorgeous flowers. This isn't something that just sits in the background. Oh, and these birds are so sweet, and they just keep getting better and better. So soft, so pretty. Look. Wow, huh? A little bit bigger, a little bit airier. Without all the flowers. And here. Oh my goodness. And then look, you have all of these birds that you could use like this, or you could, you know, hand trim them. And so that's one side, because we've got 12 sheets of this and so and this is only six so you get two of each and then look what's on the other side oh, beautiful patterns that'll coordinate so well with them mm -mm -mm. so what this is this is the flight and airy 12 by 12 designer series paper and it is one of the free gifts with purchase during the stampin up 2024 celebration special Oh, my, that's right. And so, look, it's one of the choices in here. And I can't open this up till January 4th. But in here, there are quite a few choices that are free with either 50 or free with 100. And it tells you on there, with a $50 purchase, and you just, this is one of them that you're going to want. And I'm concerned because it's so gorgeous uh, that it could run out on this because I'm sure it'll be while supplies last. Some of the prettiest paper I have ever ever seen. Love it. So this will be our focal point, but I've got something really cool for the greeting. But why don't we go ahead and start with getting our base of our card done. And what I have here is my paper trimmer and a full sheet of eight and a half by 11 Misty Moonlight cardstock. And and so I want to cut along this 11 inch border and let me bring this down so you can see. All right. It has the two blades that start gray is for cutting. The lighter gray is for scoring. I'm going to push that. There we go up to the top here. And I want to cut this along this 11 inch side. So let me go ahead and pick up the, uh, the guide. I'm going to place this at five and a half, half of 11. So let's come in a little bit closer. There we go. So I'm going to halfway between, here's the five, here's the six, halfway between that longest mark. That is the half inch. Place it on the line, not next to it. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead with this dark gray. Go ahead and cut it. So now out of the eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock, I have two card bases. We just need one. So let me scoot the cutting blade out of the way. So now I want to score this in half. And what I mean by that is it, it puts a crease in it so you can fold without it being all crinkly. So let's pick that up. Oh, come back down here. Slide that in. There we go. And so now this is eight and a half. So I'm going to put it at four and a quarter. So here's the whole number, four, five. 
that um, in between is the halfway. Well, halfway between the full number and the halfway mark is the quarter. So again, we'll place it on this line and score. And so can you see that crease in there? That crease is a really good thing because, like I said, that allows us to fold it without it being all crinkly. So fold this in half. Take my bone folder and give this a really good crisp fold. And so now we have our card base and we're ready to go ahead and build on that. For our greeting, we're going to use the new Thoughtful Moments Hybrid Embossing Folder. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. So when it, the Hybrid Embossing Folder means it has coordinating dies. And we'll be able to emboss and die cut all these greetings. Thank you, thinking of you. Oh, happy day. Hello, love you. You make me happy with sympathy. Celebrate just because and get well. And with the coordinating die, and look, there are other dies to go with this. So we've got hearts and flowers and leaves and stars, clouds, and uh, a rainbow. And look what I did. I went ahead and put all of these onto uh, a magnetic sheet. I get these at Stampin' Storage, and I'll have a link under the video to um, Stampin' Storage where you could pick up these magnetic sheets. So look, they aren't going anywhere. And instead of fighting that tape on there or trying to get one of these little ones right back on the tape, put it right on here and it's clinging and this is, you know, they're not going anywhere. No concern about losing them. And actually, a friend was just telling me today about um, there are some sleeves to go with these that I'm really interested in picking up. And as soon as I get those, I will show you those too. But those sleeves will be really nice for this. Okay, so, but it gets even better. Okay, so die cut and embossed. How could it get better? It's going to get better. Oh, I can hardly stand it. We're going to ink this and it'll have an outline. I'm going to use the hello around it. All right, so let's open it up. And what I have here is the Misty Moonlight Classic Stampin' Pad. Let's pick this up, slide that in, and also in, I forgot to show you this, the um, I call it the Spring Mini, the January through April 2024 Stampin' Up! Mini Catalog. It starts January 4th, uh, is where you'll find the Thoughtful Moments Hybrid Embossing Folder. All right, these two come together. And a silicone brayer. Oh, <laughs> the old rub rubber brayers, they just didn't ink as well as I ever hoped. This does a fantastic job. So let's just roll it across. Look how wide it is. Roll it across here. And this is what we call loading the brush, right? If you were painting, you know, you would roll. You wouldn't go back and forth, back and forth, because you'd have it just in one area. So we're going to roll it like this. And then I had turned it over when I was trying to ink. I thought, what's going on? Look at this. It has a little kickstand. So you can lay it on there. It's not going to roll away. It's not on your table, your crafting table. And it's not going to roll away or get ink everywhere. You'll just be able to leave it like that. All right, so let's go ahead and ink this side, okay? You can feel the, the groove going in. Let's make it easier. Ink the side with the Stampin' Up! logo on it. So I'm going to just ink right over here. And that's just so easy, rolling it on. There we go. And we'll just turn this, fantastic, with its kickstand. And then I take this nice big die and we'll place it on here. What's cool about the hybrid embossing folders, they just click in place. Look, it's not moving. You even heard the little click. Now let's take our cardstock and the base of our cardstock was Misty Moonlight. This is Boho Blue cardstock. We'll place it on here and close it. So next what I need to do is grab my stamp and cut an emboss machine. So I've got my stamp and cut and emboss machine and now what I need to do is build up what's called a sandwich to the appropriate thickness for die cutting with this hybrid embossing folder with the dies inside. So we will, and you always do, we'll start with a plate number one and then because it is so thick we're just going to place it right on here 
but I'm not cutting into this. You know, everything is encased in the embossing folder. And then to get just the right amount of thickness, I need this plate number four, a specialty plate. And this comes with the purchase of a stamp and cut in emboss machine. So let's go ahead and place this on here. Got the Stampin' Up logo up on top with our cardstock. And let's go ahead and crank this through. Just lo love how smoothly stamp and cut and emboss machine cranks that through. And uh, this specialty plate, well, it comes with the purchase of a stamp and cut and emboss machine. But if you have another one of the same size plates, for instance, the um, Big Shot, you can pick that up separately. So let's have a look, because this is just the coolest thing. Because we've had the hybrid folders before, but not one that you would ink. So let's take that away. And look at that. Oh my goodness. So it is stamped, embossed, and the ink outline. That's not hold it quite so close. Very, very cool. Okay, so we're not quite done. And we've got a little bit more die cutting to do. And so now we need to add to our sandwich. So I'm going to use those thin metal dies, uh, the flowers in there. So I need a plate number two. And a plate number three, a cutting plate. And right here is some bubble bath cardstock. And let's grab the flowers off of here. Okay, and set this on here. And I don't need to hold it specifically, you know, center around a stamped image. So I just need to make sure it stays on there. And while we're doing that, I also have here some crumb cake cardstock. And oh, look at these gorgeous dies. Can you see this? I'm trying not to get too close to the camera. The Elegant Borders dies. These are one of the online exclusives. So you're not seeing them pictured in a catalog. They're pictured in my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com, in the category online exclusives. And so that's the only thing you will find there. So let's go ahead and place this on here. And, all right, looking really good. Actually, I want to. Looking to see that it's centered looks pretty good to me. And then we need another plate number three. So let's place it on top instead of scooting on top so uh, nothing moves on us. All right, and crank that through. And so the flowers are cute, but this border is gorgeous. Look at that gorgeous border. All right, and then we have our flowers. Two of them have stuck on here and one in there, but we'll get that out in just a second. You know, I didn't mention that my Elegant Borders dies are also on a magnetic sheet from Stampin' Storage, and it really is nice. Not trying to hit just that, um, like I said, the adhesive that's on the original. All right, so we have one that's still in here. So I've got my Take Your Pick tool, and we'll just use it to poke that out. And so that is all done. Our card is almost done. This is such an easy card. Okay, and so we have our card base over here. I had set it aside. And then oh, this pattern. Should I come in just a little bit closer? Let's see, a little bit closer. Might make it easier for you to see what I'm doing. And, uh, and at the end, I'll show it to you in four other patterns. Oh, so pretty. And so um, I tried white, but I really like the crumb cake. All the patterns have the crumb cake in it because they all have um, a branch in it. So let's go ahead and turn this over. And right here I have my stamp and seal. So I put my finger where it's a little opaque. And this is for, for right now, we're going to do this to attach our border. All right. And so how I decide to put it on here, there is an embossed line right here. And that's where I'm taking the edge of my designer series paper up to, to that, that line. And then that just sticks out just enough. More than that felt too much to me. 
of course, you know, we all have our preferences, but that's what I liked. And so isn't that pretty? Mm. So let's come back with our stamp and seal. And for me, an inch in each corner is typically enough because everything is flat. Uh, you know, this is perfectly flat. It's not embossed. And, uh, and this, or a surface that, you know, sometimes a metallic surface or, or if a surface is rough, maybe it's a glimmer paper. So let's put this on there. And oh my goodness, gorgeous. And we have our hello. Now, um, and we're going to decorate it with one of our flowers. I had tried the, the white. And so I wanted you to see, because, you know, we, like I said, we all have our preferences, so you can compare. I felt like it got lost in there, where this, it still let my designer series paper steal the show, but it stood out enough to be seen. Just love this. But instead of just putting it on flat, I'm going to use mini Stampin' dimensionals. These foam adhesive dots are going to add a lot. And I also have an embellishment that I want to add to my little flower. All right, so I'm going to take these and small enough to put on my O. I could use a regular size for right here, but this works out so perfectly. So what I need to do is take that flat edge or a hexagon and place it on here because if I if I don't do it with that flat edge I think you'd be able to see it sticking out and that wouldn't be attractive so a couple more there we go could also use my take your pick tool to pick them up and off of there okay there we go so let's go ahead and do this trick that works oh so well. Press down with my thumbnail. I don't know if you can see that, but it makes the edge of that backing just pop up and easy to peel off. All right. And so you do not need long nails. You just really, you need that impression in there. And it makes that pop up. Because why fight them when it's that easy? Okay. And one more. There we go. And I'll have a link to my blog post with this card and all the measurements in case you'd like to make this card too with those measurements. It'll be really easy to do. Isn't that sharp popped up? It really does make a nice difference. And so now our flower, I'm going to take a mini glue dot. Uh, these are fantastic whenever you have, you know, I was talking about the embossed. You know, when you have that texture or something like that, when you need something super sticky. And I need to be precise with this placement. So I'm going to use my take your pick tool to get one of these off of here. There we go. And place it in the center. And then come over here. How sweet is that little touch? And we've got one more, one, one little thing left to do. I wanted a center for my flower, and I chose the Iridescent Pearls Basic Jewels. And they come in two sizes, but I, I like the smaller one. I just want to grab that with my Take Your Pick tool, hopefully. All right. Don't fight me. <laughs> Oh, there we go. We got it. And I was going to say, and look at that as I take it away. Fantastic. There we go. Oh, so, so sweet and oh, so pretty. That gorgeous, gorgeous paper with the Flight and Airy 12 by 12 free with a $50 order starting January 4th, 2024 in my online store. And there's awesome new hybrid embossing folder, the Thoughtful Moments. 
just so cool. And so like I said, all of this will be available to order starting uh, in January. So you want to see it. And for the other patterns, I, all the ones I showed you on the one side, I just didn't do uh, the, uh, the birds, the big birds by themselves. So, so soft and pretty. And that turned out really well. And then I, I think of this with the lovebirds. Oh my goodness. And a little bit bigger. Oh, let's, let's step out so you can see them. Here we go. Can we see all of them this way? Fantastic. I'm just so excited. This paper, wow. I got multiple packs because I fell in love with it. And then I realized, okay, I absolutely have got to use this for my January 2024 thank you cards. This so when you place an order of $50 or more with me in January, I'm going to send you one of these five cards. Just oh so gorgeous. And you know, and you'll want to do a $50 order because then you'll get a free celebration gift. And this can be one of your choices, and there are a lot of others to choose from too. If you'd like to make my handmade greeting card with the Flight and Airy Designer Series paper, all the supplies will be available to order starting January 4th, 2024 in my online store, www.shuffleshelly.com. When you place your January 2024 order of $50 or more with me, I'm going to send you one of my Flight and Airy cards. So on January 4th, get on over to my online store, www.shuffleshelly.com. I'm Shelly Godby, teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.